Okay, so welcome back to part two of how to do the Halloween lettering uh, in a funky sort of way. Here it is. This is what we did in part one. And in part two, we're just going to add the colour to it. So we're going to start off by the monster. And the monster, I thought, well, we can do it in red. So I'm going to get going on that. And then I'm just going on it like this and continuing the shabby sort of look. I'm using a colour felt tip, but you can use other things if you want to. Continue going up. Okay, and then you'll be doing this one as well. There we are. Okay, so now I will do some spots, and these spots will be in green. There we are. And now all you have to do is colour it in. So I'm going to colour it in in some colour pencils. So I'm just colouring in all of my monster because I think it's better that way and I'm colouring it in all in red and the spots I will colour in green If you want me to do a monster more in depth or something, or any of these characters, just put it in the comment section and I'll make sure I do it for you. Okay, so there we have it. And I thought it'd be fun if we did um, a green eye as well to match the green spots. So I'm just going to go over that one. And then it's just going to have a black pupil there. There we are. And I'm just going to colour that in. So I'm going to colour all the spots in. And also the eye. There we are. And I'm just going to leave that blank. That bit. I'm not going to colour that in anything. So the ghost is pretty simple. It's just going over it in a grey colour. I was going to do it in black, but I thought, well, I can't exactly do it in black because there's quite a lot of black things on the um, the picture, the lettering, so I decided just to keep it grey. It's up to you what you do with it, if you like. So there it is, not much to do with that because it's white, the ghost is. I'm just uh, rubbing off some pencil marks. And now I'm going to do the vampire. And the vampire is pretty much black with some red on it. It has black hair. His face I'm just going to do in black as well. Black eyes. Nose. His teeth. Which I'm not going to colour them in because... <coughs> his fangs because... They're white. His cape is also in black. And I'm going to finish off the floor in black also. There we are. And his trousers are also in black. And then afterwards we have this bit which is in white and we're just going to put it in a black lining. And then we have some red, so I'm just going to do this bit in red, even the buttons. This gives a bit more colour to the vampire. So now I'll be coloured in 
him in uh, black. And he also has black trousers. That's why I did the lining as well, like the black lining which I've just done. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to see the cape and the, um, the trousers. Coloring the floor also. This I'm going to rub off this bit in the middle. And this bit I'm going to colour in in black. Also his hair. And his face is just going to be in beige. Then I will be doing his top in uh, red. And this bit is white, so I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to leave that space open. Actually, I'm not. I'm going to colour that in because it's actually his cape. Because his cape goes all around him. There we are. So, there's our vampire done. So now we're going to go on to the witch. So, the witch... It's pretty much black as well. And she's black with some green because she has a green face. So I'm not going to do that in black. I'm going to give her rough hair. Just like I did before. Uh, her face is green. So I don't do that in black like I started to do. <laughs> And um, her her whole uh, her whole outfit is in black also, and she has funny sort of sleeves like rough sleeves. Hands can be put in green. See, I've done the same mistake. I'm sorry. And I'm almost done with that. A shoe is also in black. But her leg is in green. Okay, so now her face will be in green. I started it in black, I'm sorry, but it's my mistake. There we are. And we have her hands, which are in green also. And also her leg. And her neck. Do her spots in green also, because, yeah. And then her eyebrows and her eyes will be in black. Now you can go ahead and colour her face in green. Also her hands and her leg. And before we go on colouring her dress, we will put some patches on it. Which are in purple. Because she's pretty rough, the witch. There we are. And then we'll colour them in purple. All the patches. Now you can go ahead and colour in the outfit and the hat. Even her hair. Don't colour in the broom yet. Um, colour in all of the dress and her foot. Also colour in the floor. Yeah. Now you can get a yellow pen and just go over her broomstick in a yellow colour. And then you can do her broomstick in brown because it's a stick. There we are. Okay, so now we'll be going on to the pumpkin. So, in the pumpkin it will be orange. So we're going to do an orange outline. Orange eyes, nose as well, also the mouth, and 
and the lines just carry on doing them all the way around and also do the top of the pumpkin um, which is in green and then you can go ahead and colour that in and colour the pumpkin in as well don't colour in the eyes, the nose and the mouth because we've got a we're going to put that in um, yellow so I'm just going to put the yellow inside the eyes, the nose and the mouth there we are and now we're going to be doing the spider and the spider is really simple to do because he's going to just be all in black so I'm going to start by doing the legs the face is next he has black eyes big black eyes and a smiley face with some fangs actually and I'm gonna just rub off the pencil just left and then afterwards we're gonna go ahead and do the cat the cat is also black because witches are known for having black cats so we are going to do that this bit is his tail And this bit is his body. So now we're going to do his head, face, some whiskers coming out, and the ears. And we're going to do this one, which is actually, I think we might just put it in purple because. It'll be nice for different colours that are black, black and black. Be better if it's in purple a little bit more. We can put the spider in black because I've never seen purple spiders before. But of course you can do a purple spider if you want to. But I'm just going to keep that black. There we are. And now we'll be doing the last part which is the sweets and candy. So, I am going to put that in a bit more of a colourful colour. So, I'm going to put some green for this part. For like an apple sort of flavour. Black for the stick. A line in black. Another line in black. And just add in some colourful parts in it. We're going to do the sweet in, um, I think we might do it in red, so it's something different. I mean we've only done the monster at the beginning in red and a little bit of the vampire. So it'll be nice if we do some red in there. There we are, and then just add in some red uh, probably there as well. And then you can add in some green. So some green here. And inside will probably be in green also. So you can go ahead and rub off any sort of pencil which is left. And now we're going to colour it in. So colour this part in. Colour the cat in, which I didn't do, sorry. And the spider, and the other spider as well, which is right here. There we are. And also the candy. So that is in red. So I'm just going to add in the red right there inside it. And the green.
which is just here in the holes and then we'll be colouring in the candy here as well we'll get some purple and finish off with some red and I almost forgot to colour in the lollipop at the top okay so now we'll just finish off by doing the bat so the bat is in black and I thought it would be a good idea to do the eyes in red as well because we still haven't got that much red I find and it looks a bit more spooky as well if we do it in red so why not so I'm just going to colour it in I'm going to do it in felt tip this one There we are. Try not to get black in the eyes because if you do you might not be able to see the eyes. But it doesn't matter because it can always be looking the other way around instead of this way. And if you haven't cut it inside the eyes you can colour the bed inside it. There we are. And there's your bat all done. Looks pretty spooky. And I'm just going to zoom out so you can see the picture at the end. So there's the monster. All in green. I don't know if you can really see on the camera. We have the ghost, the vampire and the witch the pumpkin, the spider, cat with the long tail, another spider, and some candy, and don't forget we have the uh, bat at the end. So there it is, it's funky and fun, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for watching this video, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos, and don't forget to check out the video on the witch and the pumpkin. Thank you. Bye.